Hi, I'm Eva and this is my hair journey. You're being annoying. Very, very annoying. Oh, excuse me, do you mind not burping during my video? Thank you. If you're watching this video, you've probably come from my Facebook. This is super odd. I am filming myself in my living room on a Monday night talking about my biggest insecurity at the moment, my hair. I recently did a post talking about the last two to three years and all the issues I've been having with my hair and how upsetting it's been and how I just can't seem to work out why my hair is getting worse and worse despite me doing things that Google tell me should make it better and better. So I guess these videos are just going to be my hair journey um, and what works and what doesn't work. So about two to three years ago, I started to notice that my hair was becoming harder to manage. When I brushed it, there was just so much coming out compared to usual. And when I straightened or curled it, it was still frizzy. Even though I had spent so much time straightening it, putting treatments on it, etc. I started changing things up. So I stopped having a balayage and just dyed it semi-permanent brown and left it to be. I had it cut. I put coconut oil in it all the time. <laughs> I changed shampoo and conditioner to more natural treatments from Lush. I paid for various different treatments. I had keratin, uh, shampoo and conditioner, protein-based shampoo and conditioners, Olaplex, Elasticizer. I pretty much had tried everything that I could think of that was the obvious what people recommend to you when you tell them that you've got frizzy hair or that your hair's got some breakage, or that it's, you know, feeling thinner. And then I just thought, it's just because I'm getting older. I stopped putting heat on it so often, so I would just let it air dry and leave it be. I got a tangle teaser and a wide tooth comb, and two to three years later, it's worse. It's not any better. So I need to try something else. So I'm going to start by taking you through some photos to really clearly show you, because you're probably looking at my hair now and thinking, oh, it doesn't look that bad. But this is my hair. This morning was curled with straighteners, and it's now this big frizzy mess. The top has been tied up because the top is so frizzy that it's just not even viable to have in this video. <laughs> and the end is just loads of frizz. And if you look closely, I don't know if you can see... There's just loads of broken snapped bits, loads of frizz. Yeah, it's just a mess. I was on YouTube the other day and randomly a hair video was recommended to me that was one that seemed very different to all the others. I'll link it down below. Um, and it was just talking about the pH balance of your scalp and how that can affect the quality of your hair and also your, how your scalp is. And I realized I've been complaining for weeks about having an itchy scalp on and off, maybe even months. And I've not really thought about it too much. I just thought that it was maybe the, I don't know, humidity. Maybe I'd change shampoo. Maybe, I don't know. I just didn't think about it too much. But it could be linked. So I'm going to try a few new things to see if they make a difference. And tell you guys about it and update you on it. Um, probably every two weeks if I can remember. So firstly, I'm going to do an apple cider vinegar rinse after every single time I wash or condition my hair. Apparently apple cider vinegar helps rebalance your scalp pH which can help with 
uh, itchy scalp, uh, hair loss, um, brittleness in the hair. So I'm going to try that and see if it makes a difference. Now, I don't know if I'm going to tolerate the smell, but apparently it doesn't smell of anything. But basically, if you're one of my friends and I start smelling of vinegar, it's not my fault. I'm trying to help myself here. <laughs> I'm going to stop using expensive treatments and coconut oil all the time. They clearly haven't worked for me, so let's chuck them in the bin. And I'm going to try a different oil. And the oil of choice is avocado oil. Now, I've read online that coconut oil can be quite drying for people who have already got quite thin damaged hair and a dry scalp. But avocado oil apparently isn't so drying, so... I'm gonna try that as a treatment maybe once or twice a week and see how I get on. I'll stop it if it makes my head more itchy, but if it doesn't, then I'll just keep running it for as long as I can. I'm going to add an iron supplement to my diet. So um, I've decided to take a liquid iron supplement twice a day and see if that makes a difference. Now, I had blood tests done a month or so ago to see if any of my vitamins were low um, cholesterol high, all of those things, an all round blood test. And everything came back normal, but I've been told by one of my friends on Facebook, rest assured there'll always be someone on my Facebook that knows random facts. And they've said that uh, in iron, there's a, something called ferritin that you need for your hair. And my, out of all of my iron profile, ferritin was the lowest and the closest to being not normal. So I'm going to add an iron supplement, maybe it will make a difference to my hair, we'll see. But I imagine that would be something that would take a bit longer to notice any difference. So in about two weeks time I'm going to do another video, I'm going to probably do it in the same spot with the same light so that my hair isn't affected by what you're seeing. And when I zoom in you can obviously see uh, all of the frizz. <laughs> so if you can see less frizz when I next do a video then absolutely ideal. But I'll keep doing the videos anyway, because if I find something, if I have a reaction to something, or if something's not working, or I think, oh, this has made a huge difference, then I'm basically just gonna grab my camera and show you. If you wanna keep up with my hair journey, then subscribe to my channel. I'm really not gonna be doing anything else other than talking about my hair, so if you don't care about hair, there's not gonna be anything else on this channel, unless the dogs do something funny and then I might post it randomly. Um, but I really hope that this helps the various people who also messaged me on Facebook to say that they were having issues with their hair. And if it doesn't help you and it doesn't help me, then I guess I'm just getting old and my hair will forever get worse till I am old and weary. <laughs> so thanks for watching my video. Feel free to share it amongst other people who might have hair issues. And hopefully I'll see you in about two weeks.